you all know that my mom wasn't well. See, I'm going to cry. Okay. She was diagnosed with liver cirrhosis last year. And, um, you know, the, her struggle this year, breaking her leg, and uh, she had a lot of issues with the water retention, uh, losing weight, losing her muscle mass. She was getting weaker, and she was terrified. Finally, she went back to the doctor, and uh, we thought it was all complications from the liver disease. We know it was. And uh, I was praying all year for her, but not, not fiercely. And this really scared me. And every day throughout the day, when the thought of her came to me, I was praying and asking God for healing for her. She's not saved. She believes in God, but she's not saved. So I was praying for that as well. Whenever I try to talk to her about God, she just thinks that I'm, I'm turned into a fanatic and she won't listen. So I was always praying. When I would go visit her in silence, I was praying while I was sitting with her for salvation, for her salvation and healing. And then I talked to all of you about it, and we all started praying. And that very first day that we prayed for her, one of the complications stopped. And she was surprised. And I told her, I said, Mom, it's because we're all praying for you. I came to the prayer meeting the one Wednesday. And we st I started speaking in tongues, praying in tongues while we were all praying. And all of a sudden, I just wanted to start laughing. I don't know what came over me. I just wanted to start laughing. I felt this, this joy and, and peace. And I knew it was God's presence. And I was, thank you. I started speaking so quickly in tongues. My mouth was just... I've never done that before, and, and I didn't know what was going on, but in my mind, it was another conversation. And I was talking to God in my mind. My mouth was praying one way, and in my mind, I was having a conversation with God. And I asked him, I said, is she really healed? I believe that she's healed. I know I'm not asking for healing. I'm claiming it for her, because when Jesus died, he already gave that to us. So I'm claiming that in her name. But I'm asking you, is she really healed? Because I was scared too. My faith is strong, but our human nature brings that fear to us anyway. And he said, yes, she is, and I did it for you. And I felt so loved, like never before. It's not the kind of love that you experience, like human love. It, it's just, I can't explain. And, and the way that he said it, it, it was like, I did it for you. I just felt such love and peace. And I knew then that, that she's fine. And from that moment on, I continued praying, but it was different. There was no panic, there was no fear. And, and I was sure that, that she's healed. I came to her that night on my way home and I told her. And, and her usual reaction is like, okay, 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 you know, but don't tell me anymore. Continue doing what you're doing, but just you don't have to talk to me about it. But this time, I could see in her, like, she wanted to hear, but she's scared to believe. So slowly we were making progress. Uh, since then, she had a few more complications, and uh, we went to another specialist, and this one was going to decide whether or not she was a candidate for a liver transplant. So she did uh, further testing, and I kept, I kept saying, I told my mom, I said, 
they're going to call and they're going to say that everything's fine and, and they're not going to be able to explain it. And she didn't want to, she listened, but she didn't have anything to say about it. And sure enough, and we all kept praying. And last week, the secretary called and she said that the doctor wanted to let me know that her blood work came back and that the complications that she's having, she doesn't feel are from the liver disease and the, the levels are almost normal. And I, I told her, I said, you know what? I've been waiting for your phone call because God told me that my mom is healed. And I know that she's healed. And I knew that you were going to call me and tell me that everything is, is OK. And her response was, you know what? Uh, through belief, it happens. If you don't believe, it won't happen. So keep believing in that. And I'm, I'm so grateful. I called Elizabeth right away. And, I, and then I went to my mom and I told her, and she was just shocked. She, she's still processing it, and, uh, but she's not, I think that's just her fear. And I told her, I, mom, I said, this happened for a reason, and God's, God always turns bad things into something good for us. And he's using this as a way to draw you closer to him. So listen to that and, and talk to him and, and thank him. And, and she said that she is and that she's praying every night. I said, but this time pray differently. Just, just speak to him and tell him what's in your heart, not just the prayers that you learned you know, when you were younger. And I know that she's doing that now. And I'm just so thankful because she really wasn't well. She, at that, at that uh, appointment, the doctor weighed her and she weighed only 114 pounds. She's very frail and weak, but now all of, the, all of the symptoms, all of the complications have stopped and she's, so now we just have to fatten her up and, and, and I know she's gonna be fine. And I'm just so thankful and I wanted to thank all of you because I know it was our prey that brought the healing. So whatever, whatever you're going through and your family's going through, just keep praying. And Mariush, like what you told me, don't stop. And I didn't. So for all of you, any, any little thing, just, just keep believing and praying because God will come through. And what I learned from this is when he told me he did it for me, he did it for her to save her, but he did it for me because I was praying so much and he knew how much I needed this. And so when he told me he did it for me, I knew it was because he knew, for me, I was asking, so of course he's gonna do it for me. That's why he wants us to pray to him. He wants us to come with the things that we want. If we don't ask him, we won't receive. That's the way that I took that. It's so important. Some things are, are, we think aren't that important and we don't go to him with it, but he wants us to, every little thing. And again, thank you all for, for praying for my mom.